Hey, this video goes over a brief introduction of the IS and LM model. I'm going to show you guys the equations, kind of explain what they mean and why we end up getting this graph the way it looks. So the ISLM model considers these two guys, the IS, the LM. IS is investment savings equilibrium. So it shows everywhere in the goods market where investment is equal to savings, each of these points on the IS curve shows a spot where that market is in equilibrium and if we're in equilibrium then we're good that's where we want to be it depends on the our GDP equation which I hope everyone's familiar with we have consumption which is a function of disposable income you can see Y minus T is a function of Y so income minus taxes disposable income motivates consumption investment depends on the real interest rate so high interest rates firms don't like to invest low interest rates they do government spending and net exports which is a function of income so that's imports uh, imports depend on income LM equation we have our money supply over the price level equals our liquidity preference for money or our money demand equation which is a function of GDP income and the interest rate so higher income, we want more money. Obviously, we can buy more things. Higher interest rate, we want less money because we're willing to put it in the bank or buy securities, treasuries, what have you, um, which means we don't demand money because we earn a higher return. Okay, the reason that the IS curve is downward sloping is because Y depends on the real interest rate, which is directly linked to the nominal interest rate. So as the nominal interest rate goes down, we see an increase in Y. And this is caused by that increase in investment spending. And the increase in Y is necessary to also increase the amount of saving going on in the market because people are willing to save less because the interest rate went down. So they need to have more money in order to save uh, the same percentage of it. With the LM equation, it's upward sloping because there's a positive relationship between GDP and the interest rate. So as GDP gets higher, we have a higher demand for money. We want to hold more money in our pocket to spend on goods and services. So in order to keep money demand the same in equilibrium, money supply equal to money demand, we need to raise the interest rate. Because as the interest rate goes up, we want to hold less money. So if the interest rate goes up, we want to hold less. We need Y to go up as well in order to, to, in order to motivate holding more money, which is why we get this upward sloping LM curve. Likewise, if it goes down, we see the two move together in order to keep that money market in equilibrium.